Welcome to David Wong's Chi Life Mastery. In this video, I'm going to explain to you some deep knowledge and training in Kung Fu. In Kung Fu and in martial arts, there are such things called Ging or Jing, which literally translates to energy. So there's different ways of expressing energy called Jing or Ging that is different and has a different effect on the person and has a different intention when you are expressing it through your martial arts. So if you want to learn the deeper aspects of martial arts, pay attention to this video and you'll learn some very deep secrets that very few people know. So we call these the eight types of Wing Chun energy, but this kinds of energy or game can be used in any kind of martial arts, even Jiu Jitsu or boxing or wrestling or Jeet Kune Do or Karate, it doesn't matter because these energies are universal. But we call them Wing Chun energies because they work especially well in Wing Chun techniques. If you truly want to master martial arts, then you want to learn about these internal energies that are written in ancient texts that were explained by ancient martial arts masters. So the secret to martial arts is to balance your internal with your external energy. So a lot of these energies you cannot really see in the video, but I'm going to do my best to try to help you to understand what these energies are. So here's the eight types of Wing Chun energy. So energy number eight is called Ting Ging which means listening energy. And you might be confused, like what energy is there in listening to something? Well, let me demonstrate. So in Wing Chun martial arts, when we're listening, we're not actually listening with our ears, we're listening with our skin. That's right, you're listening with your skin. Just like if you are standing in front of a fan, if you close your eyes, you can feel the wind blowing on your skin. And if you listen with your skin, you can feel which direction the wind is blowing. You can feel how strong that wind is blowing. So the same way, we want to feel the energy and listen with our skin and listen with our body. So if he pushes in, I can feel him pushing in. I can hear him pushing in because I can feel him pushing in. Okay, so if he backs off, I can feel the energy backing off. I can feel and listening. So, Literally, it is listen, but what are you doing is actually feeling. So how do you use this energy in martial arts? Well, it's very simple. If I listen to him uh, giving me force, then I'm going to either use his force or redirect his force. So he's pushing in, he's giving me force. I can simply just redirect his force, right? Or I can redirect and use his force against him. So add a little bit more, okay? Now, if I'm listening to him and he's um, backing off his force, then I can overwhelm his force with my own force. And I do that through Ting Ging. So in Wing Chun, what you learn is to develop this Ting Ging or this listening energy so that with your skin, you can feel the force of the person. You can feel it whether it's going this, left, going right, going up, going down going forward, going back. And what makes this so powerful is that you don't need to use your eyes to, to listen, right? So in the same way, you don't need to use your eyes to feel the energy. I have my eyes closed, he's pushing in, I can use it against him. Or he moves somewhere else, I can use that against him, right? Or he does something else with it, goes another way, he, he collapses it, then I move forward. So there's different ways of using your listening, thinking energy skills. We, in, in Wing Chun, we use the Qi Sao, or sticky hands, training in order to develop this skill, and it also exists in many other art, martial arts, such as Tai Chi, even Jiu Jitsu or Judo. Next concept or energy is called Jun Ging, which literally translates to turning energy or drilling energy. So this is just a concept. There's really no technique that goes with it. You can use it with any technique or add it to any kind of martial arts. So let me explain what this is. So the first very obvious one is turning energy, right? And in, and in Wing Chun, we do the pivoting. So I'm basically using the pivoting to redirect energy. I'm using pivoting to, to generate force, okay, because I'm moving my core. So two things, two things are happening. So if he's pushing, uh, he's giving me force, I can use my Jun Ging or turning or rotating energy to redirect his force. And I, I can also use my rotating force to generate more power, or I can do both at the same time, right? He's pushing in. I can rotate, use Jun Ging, rotate, and also use the force to attack at the same time. So you're thinking, okay, well, that's pretty obvious. It's called rotation, right? But there's another type of rotational energy, and that's with the rotation of your wrist. You see this in many martial arts where they tell you to use rotation of your wrist to generate more power. 
but there's actually other kinds of rotation. So for example, when I'm doing this kind of rotation in my hands, and then combine it with the rotation of my shoulders and my elbows, then I can generate force because of rotation. If I didn't rotate, it'll be like this. But if I rotate it, it's just a little bit more force. Yeah. That's another way of adding rotational energy into your attack. If you go deeper and you turn it into an internal force, then you can use rotational energy in really close range. Okay, so it's not gonna work that well because he's got this padding on here, but what I'm doing is I'm basically drilling or rotating my energy so I'm spiraling it in like that, okay? So versus me just pushing straight, I'm just pushing straight with it, okay? Now I'm spiraling it. See, he moves back a little bit more just because I added some spiral rotational energy. So this is called Jun Geng. Just basically it's rotational or drilling force. Wing Chun energy number six is called Tik Jip Geng. Tik Jip means direct, Geng means power or energy. Very simple, how to use direct energy. So direct energy means I want to go from point A to point B in the shortest distance as possible. Okay? So if my hand is right here, I want to go towards the target. If my hand is here, I want to go towards the target. I don't want to wind up and make a big rounded hook because it's actually not as fast because it's faster if I go straight. So direct energy. So here, I can actually attack him if I just point my finger, see, and go straight and attack him. Okay, so instead of, but right now something's in the way. So what I want to do is I want to move this out of the way so that I can go straight and attack him. Okay, so the same goes with here. Let's say uh, he, he pushes with this hand, right? And right now his center line is blocked. So what I want to do is I move away the center line and then I punch so I go straight. So I want to find a way to get the closest distance. So instead of going around it, which is to like go around, I'm going to go and go straight in. Okay, so that's called tick tip king. I want to go directly to his center of balance, whether it's on his nose, chin, throat, sternum, solar plexus, groin, okay, his center line has a lot of vital spots that you can attack. This is also one of the main concepts in Jeet Kune Do, which means to go direct and find the shortest distance with the most economical movement, with the least amount of effort. So that's Jik Jip King, the power of directness. Number five is Gan Jip King, which means indirect force. We talked about direct force, but what about indirect force? Well, um, one way to do the indirect force is, let's say, if energy is coming in, I pivot slightly, and then I go on an angle. Okay, so that's why we do so much footwork in Wing Chun is because when the force is overpowering you, you don't want to go force with force and try to go direct because you can't. He's bigger than me, he's stronger. If I try to fight him with my own force, then he pushes, he's gonna overwhelm me, right? So if I feel an overwhelming force, then I need to go indirect force or Gan Jip King, okay? Because now his force is redirected and now I am attacking him on an angle. Okay, so this is very simple. You want to go on an angle, just like in boxing, right? right? I want to go on the angle so I can get these, you know, get these shots in, right? I want to go on the angle so I can get these shots, right? Because right in front of him, he's got the most defense when he's straight on. But he's got less defense when it's on an angle, even less defense when I'm behind him. The key concept is to have indirect force. Instead of matching somebody force with force, we want to redirect their force, or get out of the, the way so that we can attack on an angle. So that's indirect force, indirect energy, or Gan Zip Ging. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is called Yung Ging or Dai Ging, which is connected with the indirect one. So what I'm doing is it's called a guiding force so, or blending force. So when he's coming in, I'm blending and I'm redirecting him and guiding his energy so he goes off balance, right? Or this hand, right, he's pushing in, I'm redirecting his energy so he goes off balance. So that's very simple, and it can be used in any kind of uh, thing, even in grappling situations, right? He's pushing in, he's pushing in. I can use his energy to, to make him go off balance, okay? So that's Dai Ging. Dai means to guide or to lead. Yung means to use their momentum against them. Next one is called Lin Zip Ging, which is connecting power. So it means to connect all your attacks together in a chain. So let's say this happens, this happens, bump, bump, bump. Okay, so 
you connect in the chain and you don't stop, right? Because it's not like one, two, three, and then you back off. It's like connecting your tactic at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, connect them all together. So next one is regressive power. You want to overwhelm the force with your own force, right? So pull it. I'm just pushing him because I don't want to actually punch him with aggressive power. You get the idea? But I'm using this pushing force, but I'm attacking with punches. Right? So I'm using this aggressive power. I want to keep pushing with my punches on him. So even if it's bigger, if somebody uses all of his aggressive power and explode like that, then, then you have a better chance of beating the guy, even if he's stronger or even more skilled because you surprise them with your explosive force, right? And you just go, go and go in there. Okay, last one is Chun King. Chun King means inch power. So I showed you in the video how to punch harder to, to generate power in a very short distance, like that. Okay, so, so generate power in a very short distance. Right, very short, very short distance, generate power like that. So if you want to learn more about that, make sure you watch my How to Punch Harder video. All right, so those are the eight Wing Chun energies. And remember, these are internal energies or external ones that you can learn and develop. It takes some time to actually internalize and master these. But once you understand how to use these in different times and situ different situations, you can take your martial arts and take yourself to the next level. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and like. If you have any comments or questions about what you learned today, make sure you put them in the comment section. So until next time, use the chi and prosper. <laughs>